Well, the Dallas Cowboys say the team is aware that a player is involved in a murder investigation. And quarterback Kelvin Joseph's lawyer tells us he was in the SUV with the person who opened fire March 18th outside a club on Greenville Avenue last March. Cameron Ray was shot and killed. Joseph's lawyer says his client was not armed during the incident. Fox 4's Stephen Dahl is live tonight with that update. Stephen. Kelvin Joseph's attorney saying his client was not the shooter despite being in the suspect's vehicle. Dallas police have not made any arrests in the shooting that killed 20 year old Cameron Ray. The investigation into a deadly shooting from March on Greenville Avenue now involves the Dallas Cowboys player, Kelvin Joseph. The shooting was near OT Tavern in Lower Greenville. And all of a sudden you see a that black suspect vehicle riding up the street and shots are fired from that vehicle towards Cameron and his friends. Dallas police say surveillance video shows a man smoking and walking past 20 year old Cameron Ray and his friends. Something was said and a fight starts. Police say Ray and his friends did not start the fight. Ray was shot and died from his injuries. The surveillance video shows the dark colored vehicle, but police don't know who the driver or gunman was. We now know Kelvin Joseph was in the vehicle. His lawyer telling Fox 4 he found himself in a situation that escalated without his knowledge or his consent and added that Joseph was not the shooter. Joseph is a cornerback for the Dallas Cowboys drafted in the second round last year, who was mostly a backup and special teams player. The Dallas Cowboys in a statement Friday saying they are aware of Joseph's possible role in the incident and had no further comment. Dallas police are now looking for the people seen in this video for March 18th. I need for people to pay attention uh, to what these individuals had on from head to toe. Look at their hair. I need you to look at what they had on because they had writing uh, on their clothing, on their uh, hoodies. They had jewelry on. I need you to look at some of their medallions and see what it spells out. I need you to look at their faces and look at the group of people that were together themselves because if you know somebody in that group, then you're going to know the rest of them. So I need you to point them out, put them on blast so that they will come in and talk to me because somebody died here and we need to find out who shot Cameron. Now tonight, Dallas police would not confirm to us that they indeed spoke to uh, Kelvin Joseph, but the Dallas Morning News was at the law office of his lawyer and confirmed that investigators questioned Joseph. No arrests again have been made.